So despite this scandal, Hillary Clinton is still pretty much the one thing standing between the Republican candidates and the Oval Office. Last night's debate proves that's exactly at least how the GOP sees it. Listen. The next president of the United States is going to have eight years of a mess of a foreign policy to clean up. That's why it can't be Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton worked aggressively to depose Muammar Gaddafi. We had no business doing it. And not only is she under FBI investigation, she lied to the families of the victims of Benghazi. I'm the only one that beats Hillary Clinton. I beat her, and I, haven't even, I have not started on Hillary yet. Believe me, I will start soon. I haven't even started. Tom Baer is a Democratic strategist and a Hillary Clinton supporter, and he produced both of President Bill Clinton's inaugurations. Uh, she's building, I'm sure, if she hasn't already built it up, a coat of armor for all of these barbs and these attacks. But look, this, this cacophony is getting louder and louder as more details come out about the, the, the email server issue. What is the insider scoop from the Clinton, I guess, package about how they'll deal with this? Well, I, I, I'm not... Uh in the Clinton campaign per se, but I do understand the email situation, which I think a lot of people do not understand. First of all, unlike what you've heard, uh, this is a security inquiry that was commenced at the request of various government officials in, in and out of the State Department. And as such, the first thing they have to do before they release the emails that Hillary has asked to be released the equities in each email have to be vetted by each department involved, the CIA or the Commerce Department or the Defense Intelligence Agency. And each Agency. one could decide they don't want that stuff Yes, out. or they say after the fact. Okay, but the mere fact that you and I are even having this conversation, yes. Tom, it can't be good for the campaign. So what will, if you were advising, listen, you're a former federal lawyer, mm. what are they doing to get ready for what appears to be vicious attacks face-to-face -face once there is a geo Nominee. Well, first of all, I, there's every reason to believe that this security inquiry will be over relatively soon. And I want to explain to you that the situation with Hillary's emails is very different than any other matter that you may have read about. Uh, the, in order to make this kind of a case, let's be honest, there has to be intent. You can't just negligently perhaps grossly negligently, you cannot just negligent, negligently do this. Okay, and remember, Tom, remember, remember, this involves taking material that belongs in drawer A and putting it in drawer B. That's it. And there is no indication that this happened intentionally by Hillary Clinton. Okay, but what happens when she is facing off against whoever the GOP nominee will be? Mm -hmm. Let's just say it's Donald Trump simply yes. because he's the front runner. Yes. That's not going to be so easy, is it? It is not going to be easy, uh, in, not because really of the email situation, but because it's very difficult to go up a candidate against a candidate who will say anything, which is the character of Donald Trump. As to her ability to handle this, Hillary Clinton has been in public life for 25 years and she knows how to handle accusations and each of these accusations that have come her way over these years have been dealt with. The American people are going to decide this based upon which candidate think will help them the most in the White I'm House. I'm glad you just said that, help them the most. That's Look, right. Notwithstanding a very good jobs number today for the month of February and yes. job creation month after month after month under yes. the Obama administration, there's still a wealth gap. And we're a business network. And as we look at these things, we see that the middle class isn't exactly dancing for joy on how they feel every day when they look at their bank accounts. Uh, is her stance... Must it change a little bit from more of the same? Because more of the same from President Obama means that perhaps that gap will continue to grow. And that's there, not a good thing. There I know is, you would agree it's not a good thing. Well, first of all, uh, there is no indication that anything is going to be more of the same. And with respect to helping people, you know, you don't pick your opponent in politics. Which of the two do you think the American people will correctly determine is best for them? Remember, there's a history of Donald Trump, whose high regard for the downtrodden people of America 
doesn't seem to stop him from ripping them off. Well, he, he uh, arguably, at least if you're talking to CPAC, the conservative grassroots operation, right. ripped them off. He was supposed to speak at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow. They really depended on this. They like to have all of these candidates in advance of uh, the big mm -hmm. summer leading up to the campaign. Katrina Pearson, his spokesperson, was just with us. And here's yes. her battle back from what CPAC said was Donald Trump's anger and not wanting to answer questions. Here's what she said. Okay. Mr. Trump is not speaking at CPAC this year because we have an election tomorrow. I'm here in D.C. because we were supposed to be here tomorrow, but the campaign decided to go out there and make one last pitch to the voters in Kansas and get out and campaign in Florida. It's that simple. Well, maybe it's not that simple because Peter Barnes just reported from CPAC that the Trump people told the CPAC people he doesn't want to go there and answer the questions and follow the rules that, that have been followed in the past. Well, that's pretty much his personality. Well, I, I'm not your expert on internal uh, conservative activity, but suffice it to say that there will be many people in CPAC who will support Hillary Clinton because... Oh, come on, really? Oh, yes, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> These are the most conservative of conservatives. I, I don't care how conservative they are. Remember, there's a choice that has to be made. That's if he is the candidate between her and him. And there is no indication that Donald Trump is a conservative or that he's a liberal. There is an indication that Donald Trump is really over his head. All that fumfering that you see, all of that inability to answer is, is the action of a man who really can't handle it. Now at the end of the day, conservatives, liberals and independents will have to determine which of these two, two people is safer for them. And Hillary is appealing to all Americans, including the members of CPAC. Tom Baer, Democratic strategist, thank you very much. We appreciate you being here. Something tells me we'll see each other throughout this <laughs> campaign season. Tom Baer. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Anytime.